counts too, which is pretty endearing. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. Well, Clark with his mix of power and length, at times Giannis can seem unstoppable. You know what? Not often is it that one guy forces teams to reconsider their whole defensive game plan, but Giannis forces you to build the wall because you don't want him getting downhill or he'll make you suffer the consequences. Now here's Lillard. Here's Portis. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. To the inside. Here's Lopez. It's hauled in by Portis. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. The shot by Lillard. No good. Boy, not the kind of start they wanted. Only one for four so far. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Here's Milwaukee. They trail by one. And it's Crowder missing. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. The shot by Lillard. No good. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Bobby that puts him in the lead. Portis has got his second basket of the game. This speaks to how assertive Portis is, and he's skilled at knocking it down off the catch, too. It's good. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Milwaukee with the ball. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. And Lillard, here we go. And the dunk by Lillard. Boy, the ability to knife inside and convert Lillard is fearless when it comes to attacking the basket. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. Milwaukee with the ball. Following the score by Milwaukee. A clear look for Ana Kumpo. Giannis with the rebound. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. The Bucks trail. Here's Lillard. And the dunk by Lillard. Smart pass by Porter, showing the ability to make good decisions with the ball. Pass to Lillard. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. And here's Middleton. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They get it again. Here's Portis. The layup off target. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one. Missed it and has no one to blame but himself. Shot's good by Connaughton. Dedekumpo, nice pass there. Good at finding his open teammates. Inside. And onto Tecumpo with the stuff. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Out to Lillard. Middleton outside. No good on the buzzer beater. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Bucks ahead. They lead by three. Welcome back, everyone. This preseason matchup has been a fun one to watch so far. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys. Lots of points in the paint. 
Something to continue to keep our eye on. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Here's Lopez. Anadokounmpo outside. Back to Lillard. The three is up. This is another. He's 0 for 4. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo says his greatest challenge lies within. He said, quote, I don't compete with others. I just compete with myself. Every other night, it's going to be another great player, but I just try to be consistent, have fun, enjoy the game, create art, and be the best I can be. Artistry. I like it, Ali. Thank you. Milwaukee in the lead. Anadokounmpo outside. Yes, sir! Giannis showing the range. Well, Grant, how important are these preseason games in preparing teams for the regular season? You know, B.A., sometimes I think it's, it's maybe more important to the coaches than it is to the players. You know, they like to use these games to tinker with the lineups, establish a rhythm, really evaluate the younger players, and get a real sense of what this team can be. Middleton, right side. No good on the triple. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. The putback. It's good on the putback. You got to put a body on Portis or he'll wreak havoc on the offensive glass. Pass to Lopez. Here's Lillard. Still no points. It's hauled in by Portis. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Now here's Lillard. converting inside inside Lillard can deliver he's a skilled finisher and you think about the value of continuity Clark a new coaching staff for these bucks but the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry well I'll tell you what Giannis is at the center of everything they do B.A. including winning that championship not many conflicting personalities certainly helps and these guys are well molded together well, the ability to knife inside and convert Lillard is fearless when it comes to attacking the basket. Portis outside. Middleton outside. He drops it from range. Middleton's got five points now this quarter. After an okay first quarter of shooting, they've really turned it up offensively. I like where they're headed right now. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Lopez. To the paint. And it's Lopez with the jam. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing we can find his teammates, too. Lillard with the ball. Defended by Lillard. Back to Anadokounmpo. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Shot clock at six. He can't get that one to fall. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Portis down low. Down low. And then Portis with the dunk. Hey, I feel bad for those rims because Portis has no mercy on them. Throwing it down with force. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Hits a three-pointer. 
And now a five-point Milwaukee lead. To the middle. Here's out of Nakumpo. Giannis is a monster around the rim. Too easy there. Outside pain. Portis gets the bucket. And the Bucks lead by five. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Bucks ahead, leading by five. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Great to have you back for more preseason hoops here on 2K Sports. And that one's good. Middleton. It's really easy to admire and respect the explosiveness of Middleton. I mean, if you give this guy a lane to the basket, he'll take full advantage of it right away. Ooh, Miller getting after it in transition. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him, just taking what he sees and capitalizing. And out of bounds, Milwaukee will have it. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Out of the Kumpo. Can't hit from in close. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Making a switch here. The Bucks trail. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. The offensive rebound. Over to the wing. The three, here's Lillard. Ooh, almost had a four point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Yeah, I think something that doesn't get appreciated enough is Lillard's patience. But he's not one to rush things or look for easy outs. He knows it takes hard work to succeed. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Well, Clark in the 2023 playoffs, the Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And an eight versus one seed upset. We all thought they were set to make a deep playoff run. But injuries, untimely as they were, and the Heat had other plans. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Poke loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Connaughton. The Bucks making a switch here. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Chris
Now Lillard. He's got seven. Screen by Anadokounmpo. Offline with a three. Offensively, the struggles continue. 0 for 5 to start the half. And that one's good. Lillard. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Lillard, left side. Four, three. The shot, no good. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. In terms of players who kept evolving, Clark, I mean, come on. How about Brooke Lopez? Well, Grant, I love the fact that he never stopped improving his game. He folded three-point shooting into his arsenal, and he also became a much more active and intimidating rim protector. Oh, got that one up quick. And it's a six-point Bucks lead. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. And they get it. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free. He throws now. Yeah, inside Lillard is just so scrappy, turning aggressive defense into a foul while shooting. Damian Lillard. And he sinks the second. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Here's Ana Nakumpo. Timeout call. Milwaukee. Timeout. Wow, Damian Lillard really having a great game. Well, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Five to shoot. Here's Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. Lopez very aware of the time on the shot clock there. Great job to get a shot off. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. Three-point lead. They've got the Lakers ahead of them in their next game in Los Angeles. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, everybody knows that Giannis Antetokounmpo is not just one of the best bigs in the league, but one of the best teammates all the way around. People say about him, he does everything. His teammates say he deals with guys, takes good care of them, makes sure they're healthy from top to bottom. He's the ultimate leader. Special talent, Allie. And a special person. Thanks for that. And the dunk by Lillard. And you see why he's one of the top scorers in the league. Lillard does it in so many ways. Connaughton, right side. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Giannis throws it down. Giannis just doesn't stop working. Plays with great energy at both ends. Excellent work on the boards there. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. And that's a foul. Called on Pat Connaughton. That'll be a second foul of the game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Number nine. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. And the three-pointer goes. Crowder's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Inside. Here's Portis. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points. Moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. Bucks ahead, up by three. All right, we're going to step aside. 50. It's time for the 
Let's get back into it now as we continue to get a sneak peek of the upcoming NBA season. The Bucks trail. Lillard with the ball. Beyond the arc. And no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget, but in the second half, he's looked a lot better. And there's a defensive three-second call. And Clark with Jake Crowder. He's always been an asset for a team in contention. Defensively, he's versatile. He can defend a number of different positions when you look at Jay Crowder. And that, that allows him to be a guy that you can give good minutes to in the playoffs. Screen by Adonacumpo. Lillard right side. Lock at four. And it's Adonacumpo with the miss. Lillard outside. Giannis dunks it home. Giannis has tremendous physical attributes, but his confidence is something that separates him from most. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Oh, and the jam by Giannis. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. Portis with the steal. In transition. Here come the Bucks, And that one's good. Middleton. Bobby the floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. Lillard with the ball. Middleton covering. Screen by Adonacumpo. The three. Here's Lillard. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the play calling or the player himself. The slam from Ford is impressive. Using that size around the rack. Lillard outside. To the wing, right side. Connaughton outside. Clock at six. Lillard! What'd you expect? After doing nothing from beyond the arc in the first half, he has turned things around. Middleton looking around. Pass to Portis. Rebounded by Lopez. All alone from mid-range. You've got to think he's kicking himself. Connaughton can't hit. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball. It's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Middleton, no good. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball from Milwaukee. Connaughton outside. This one for three. The shot by Lillard. No good. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. to Middleton to the paint out to Lillard down low Antetokounmpo and Antetokounmpo with the stuff you know feeling very comfortable taking a big shot when his team needs it that's a, that's a sign of how Antetokounmpo has matured recently to the inside Lopez in the post. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. Well, you hate to give Lopez an easy one around the rim, but you don't like sending him to the line either. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Lillard outside. 
the wing, Crowder. Knocks down the triple. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passes right now. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. It really does come down to this. I mean, come up empty, and it's over. The stakes don't shake Lillard at all. He stays cool and finds the clutch basket. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. And the Bucks with the possession here. Four-point game. And that's an intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Oh, oh my I mean, just sound. hard on that one, B.A. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time 